Hi everyone. This video is going to discuss a concept that we use a lot at Stockhaven.com. It's called selling the gap. If you hang out with us in the chat room, you'll always hear us say, we're going to buy at the close to sell the gap tomorrow. Now, what that means is if you just think literally about a gap, you know, that's a space in between something. So a gap higher on a stock is when it closes at a certain level on Wednesday and then opens higher at Thursday's open. So there's literally a gap between Wednesday's close and Thursday's open. And this can be a very profitable way to make a quick 5-10% to start your day. So here's a couple examples. If we take DEJ, De Jure Energy, you can see that this stock on the 23rd closed at 45 just about and then the next day opened at 48. So that's a three cent gap and you can see this gap on the chart between 45 and 48. Now it's done it as well back on the 8th closed at 35 and opened at 39. So you can see it's it's really simple if there's a lot of momentum into the close you buy the close and you sell the gap we've seen this on recently on a penny stock like spa s p a h on the 16th closed at 37 cents and then opened at 44 that was a great gap so you know, starting your day with seven cents profit isn't isn't bad at all. And then again on the 19th, closed at 67 and then opened at 80, a 13 cent gap. Okay. Now you might be wondering, well, why do you sell the gap? How come you don't just keep holding? Well, the reason we sell the gap is because a lot of times you will notice that gaps fill on penny stocks and big board stocks. What we mean by that is, so it closed at 67, opened at 80, but then look, that same day it went red, it closed at, at 47 cents. You'll see it on even a stock like Apple. Gaps will fill many times. You can see here, on October 13th, Apple closed at 408, and then the next trading day, opened at 416 so there was a nice eight dollar gap and then the gap went on to to slowly fill over the course of the next couple months Google you can see on the 13th closed at 558 and then opened at 599 so a, a big gap and you can see shortly after Google spent the next couple months came down and started filling some of the gap and on the November 11th came all the way down to 561 so pretty much filled the gap completely you'll see this a lot Freeport McMoran FCX lots of gaps higher you can see we've got one from the 21st to the 24th, from the 26th to the 27th, from the 29th to the 30th, and you'll notice most all of these gaps have filled. So they might not fill right away, but our experience tells us that at some point most likely gaps are going to fill. So that is why we sell the gap. ABOT, you can see just recently, was another one where stock closed at 4.8, opened around 5, and then the gap filled the next day. You get a lot of this. AMWI, of course. Stock closed at... 39 on the 6th opened at 44 on the 7th next day gap filled then on the 9th closed at 36.5 
opened at 45. Next day, gap filled. So here, right now, we have NSRS is gapping up about 8% from a close of 24 cents. So what we're going to do is sell the gap. It's very easy. We'll make 8% right off the bat. We can always buy back in if, if the stock is holding well and looks strong. But the point is, this is a strategy that we're comfortable with that we've used many times before, and it works. So yeah, we might leave some money on the table because maybe it'll go at the open from 26 to 28 and we'll miss out. But you know what? We have our strategy, we stick to it, and it works all the time. So we're going to pause the video now, and then we'll watch the open on NSRS and see where it opens and see how it trades during the gap. Okay, we're back. You can see here we are 26.4 by 26.5, up 10%. So this is definitely a nice gap. Now we're going to watch the volume here on the five minute chart. You can see the volume coming in now. Here's our gap, 264 by 265. But what you'll see a lot of times is other people are selling into the gap as well. So many times there will be a pullback right at the open. And so what we're going to watch is you know, where does it pull back to? And does it have much support after the gap fills? Does the gap even fill? You know, or is it so strong that the gap doesn't even fill? That would be the most bullish case. And it appears the video software may be slowing down my platform, so sorry for that. I'm sure there's a ton of trading going on right now. Ah, yes, here we are. So 25 fives. So you can see the gap has already started to fill. So selling the gap in the 26 has proved to be a smart strategy. And regardless, the bottom line is it's our strategy that we're comfortable with, so that's the one we're going to implement. It's not about trying to make as much money as possible. It's about implementing a strategy that works for you that you're comfortable with. Because if you can do that, the making money part will take care of itself. You can see it came down to 253 and has is, is started to bounce a little bit after it, it filled some of the gap. So that's a very strong sign. Now the bids are coming in at 26. So now what you want to see is can it push above where it gapped to, which is 26.5. If it can do that, that'll be a very bullish sign. Now you can see over here looking at our volume that the volume is good but it's not great we really would like to see it get up to the six million share range to be able to keep pace with with yesterday's big spike but at any rate the purpose of this video was to highlight the benefits of selling the gap and showing what it means to sell the gap and how it can be a profitable strategy.